In a blistering rebuke, conservative figure Pierre Poilievre takes aim at Justin Trudeau's leadership, accusing him of straying far from the core tenets of liberalism. Poilievre asserts that Trudeau's agenda deviates significantly from the traditional values of liberalism, underscoring Trudeau's extensive encroachment of government influence into various facets of Canadian society. By reframing Trudeau's actions as not just overly liberal, but outright counter to liberal principles, Poilievre aims to underscore the perceived menace posed by Trudeau's governance style to the very fabric of Canadian society. Don't miss. How does Pierre Poilievre characterize Justin Trudeau's leadership? What are the main contrasts drawn between traditional liberalism and Trudeau's policies? How does Poilievre highlight the discrepancy between Trudeau's image and his policy? Now, Justin Trudeau came along in 2015. Now, to be clear, a lot of people say that he's gone too far, that he took liberalism in the wrong, not just far, but in an extreme direction. I disagree, because what Justin Trudeau has done is not only to break with the common sense Canadian consensus, it's to break with liberalism himself, itself. <laughs> Liberals used to believe in laissez-faire, let people make their own decisions and live their own lives. Liberals used to believe in laissez-faire, let people make their own decisions and live their own lives transporting one back to an era where liberalism intertwined with the essence of personal freedom and minimal governmental intrusion. It stirs sentiments of empathy and champions democratic ideals, emphasizing restrained governance and individual liberty, subtly nodding to the concepts of personal accountability and the empowerment of self-choice. Different strokes for different folks. Different strokes for different folks. In its essence, it embodies the embrace of diverse viewpoints and lifestyles, honoring the uniqueness of each individual and standing firm against rigid governmental dictate. This principle upholds conservative ideals, cherishing personal independence, and embracing a rich tapestry of perspectives. Remember that? That people could more or less think for themselves, decide for themselves, and live their lives in their own way. As people could more or less think for themselves, decide for themselves, and live their lives in their own way. In the realm of personal agency and the freedom to choose, individuals ought to possess the autonomy to chart their own course sans unwarranted government intervention. This principle lies at the heart of democracy, championing individual liberties and advocating for a governance model that is circumscribed in its reach. Pierre Elliott Trudeau famously plagiarized when he said, that the government had no place in the bedrooms of the nation. Now, his son wants the government to be in every room of your house, and your business, and your wallet, and your bank account, and your internet account. He wants to be everywhere, always. He wants to be everywhere, always. Dread of a nation's overbearing grasp, hinting at worries over excessive governmental meddling and encroachment into the private lives of its citizens. A democratic apprehension of the encroachment of an omnipotent government on personal liberties and individual freedom. See, the thing is, it's not that Justin Trudeau is too liberal. It's that he's not liberal at all. He is deeply, deeply illiberal. He is deeply, deeply illiberal. Portraying Justin Trudeau as authoritarian and intolerant of dissent, the depiction implies a departure from the liberal ethos of tolerance and openness. The critique suggests that Trudeau's leadership approach and policies lean excessively towards authoritarianism, curtailing freedom and diversity of opinion. He uses the soft blue eyes and fluffy hair and fancy socks, and more importantly, the historic brand of the Liberal Party built up by such great leaders as Laurier and many more who followed him, as a cover for what is a radical departure from the Canadian way. He uses the soft blue eyes and fluffy hair and fancy socks and more importantly, the historic brand of the Liberal Party built up by such great leaders as Laurier and many more who followed him as a cover for what is a radical departure from the Canadian way. Justin Trudeau camouflages his departure from traditional liberal values by leaning on superficial attributes and the legacies of former liberal leaders. 
This tactic mirrors the democratic skepticism towards politicians prioritizing image over substance, insinuating a feeling of betrayal and deceit. A radical departure that sees in every way that the people are to be made small so that the government can be made big. A radical departure that sees in every way that the people are to be made small so that the government can be made big. In the discourse surrounding governmental expansion, a prevailing concern emerges, the potential encroachment upon personal liberties juxtaposed with a burgeoning apprehension regarding the burgeoning nanny state. An analysis discerns that the policies advanced by Justin Trudeau serve to erode individual autonomy while emboldening the state apparatus, thus undercutting the democratic ethos of restrained governance and individual agency. Pierre Poilievre's analysis of Justin Trudeau's leadership signals a significant shift in the landscape of Canadian politics. Poilievre contends that Trudeau's governance has strayed from the foundational principles of liberalism, instead embracing an intrusive and domineering role of the government in the lives of its citizens. By juxtaposing Trudeau's actions with the traditional ideals of liberalism, Poilievre aims to uncover what he sees as a misleading facade concealing Trudeau's authoritarian inclinations. This criticism strikes a chord with individuals who prioritize personal autonomy and advocate for minimal government interference, igniting crucial discussions about the trajectory of Canadian politics under Trudeau's helm. Pierre Poiliev redefines liberalism through a lens that cherishes personal liberty and minimal governmental interference. At its core lies the doctrine of restrained governance and individual accountability. But the spotlight on personal autonomy mirrors that of a democracy, spotlighting the significance of individual freedom and choice in sculpting one's destiny. Pierre Poilievre censures the Justin Trudeau administration for excessively intruding into the lives of its citizens. This reproach echoes both democratic anxieties over exaggerated governmental meddling and concerns regarding the dilution of personal freedom and genuineness within a socialism marked by bureaucratic dominance. Specifically, Pierre Poiliev invokes past leaders of the Liberal Party like Wilfrid Laurier, contending that Justin Trudeau's initiatives stray from the Canadian ethos, drawing on Canada's historical narrative and legacy. It appeals to conservative principles that honor heritage and national identity, while underscoring the essence of authenticity and the preservation of cultural legacy. Pierre Poilievre's critique extends beyond mere policy, delving into a psychological evaluation of Justin Trudeau's public persona and political branding. It implies that Trudeau exploits his image and the historical brand of the Liberal Party to mask what Pierre Poilievre perceives as non-liberal policies. It's a narrative that delves into the psychological dynamics of political dynamics of political discourse and the influence of image and rhetoric on public opinion. Pierre Poilievre's condemnation of Justin Trudeau's policy aimed at fostering dependence to fortify governmental authority prompts reflection on the ramifications for individual subjectivity and freedom. It urges a serious examination of how policies perceived as excessively intrusive can mold an individual's values and curtail their pursuit of personal aspirations. What do you think?